scientists. Welcome to another episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lanka and I'm from the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. And if you're watching us live right now, go ahead and put your name in the comments. Say hello. I'm moderating at the same time and I would love to give you a greeting back and just see what scientists are out there. So this week we have been doing a whole bunch of different activities and reading books that have to do with water. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and bring that into science as well. And I thought, you know, this is a great time to do the monster bear experiment and to talk about osmosis because that has to do with water. So now, no reason to be scared. We say monster bear because of perhaps how this experiment is going to turn out, but no bears will be harmed in this experiment. So let's go ahead and talk about our different materials that we're gonna need. Then we'll go ahead and set up, do our experiment. We'll come back and we'll talk about how the experiment went and what osmosis is and what that has to do with what we're doing. Okay, so you see laid out here all of the different things that we're gonna need for this experiment, except for one thing. I'll tell you that in just a second. So going through these really quickly, you're going to need some salt. Doesn't really matter what kind. I have some iodized salt, but you really don't need that. So just regular table salt works fine. You're going to need some water. So I have my spigot here. You'll also need some sugar, just regular sugar that you cook with. Three different containers and I have glass ones. So if you've got glasses, I've got ramekins, just something smaller. Make sure that these are ones that can be put in the microwave safely, so nothing metal. You will also need a tablespoon. We're gonna do a little bit of measurement today. I'm going to need just a regular spoon, and this is for stirring. And then, last but certainly not least, or I shouldn't say last, second to last, you're going to need some gummy bears. <laughs> now, I got ones that are all the same color. That way we can see maybe what changes throughout this experiment. So just like some other experiments we've done, one of the hardest parts of this one is not to eat your experiment. So these are for experimenting, not for eating. And then the one thing that you don't actually see here, which is behind the camera, is a microwave. So you're going to need one of those as well. All right, so now that we have all of our materials, including the one that's behind the camera, <laughs> let's go ahead and set up our experiment. So I got kind of a jump start on this experiment. I went ahead and filled my little ramekins with about a cup of water. So you can see that there, it's kind of up to the line. And I filled all three of them with the same amount of water. So that's how we're gonna start. And then two of these we're actually going to change. So one is gonna stay just water. And then these other two, we're going to change with the salt and the sugar. So let's go ahead and get to that part of the experiment. And then we will do our experiment. Hope you're feeling brave there, bears. Let's go.
<laughs> all right, my fellow scientists, so we have saved our bears from all the different pools that they had been swimming in all evening. And I kept our labels so we know what exactly they were all swimming in at the time. You'll also notice that I left an original bear so we know what they looked like before the experiment. So osmosis, let's talk about that. What is that? Well, that is when you have something like water move from one material through what's called a membrane to another area or material. So let's think about this. You could have an area that's got a lot of stuff in it. Then you have that membrane or like a door that you would walk through. And then the other side maybe doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in there. Well, when that door is open, those two sides want to even each other out. So they're going to come together and they're going to mix until they have something that's closer to, if not even on both sides. Well, that's what happened to the bear. That's water that has been moving through that membrane or that door. So, for example, we have the bear that was in water. Well, I said that was water moving, right? We, we noticed we actually dropped the bear in the water. And then we went ahead and watched it grow, watched it absorb water. Well, why did it absorb water? Why did osmosis happen there? Well, inside the bear, there is a little bit of water, but there's a lot of sugar and there's gelatin. Well, the water, when it comes in contact with that bear, it wants to get into that bear because there's not a whole lot of water there. Again, it wants to even itself out. So the bear starts to expand as it starts soaking up that water, just like a sponge would. Now this is after you know a few hours. Think about what would happen if we left it in there for days. Would it even still be there? Would it get to a certain size and then start breaking up? Maybe something you want to try at home. Okay, so what about sugar water? Because I said there's sugar in the bear, but I also just said there's sugar in the water. Well, there's more sugar in the bear, so the water is still gonna to wanna to go into that bear. And so you're gonna get that bear get a little bit bigger. Now, what about the salt? Because there's no sugar in there. Well, salt is actually smaller than sugar. So when we dissolve that salt, we actually had more salt in the water than there was sugar in the bear. So again, the water's gonna think, hmm, there's more room outside and it's gonna start leaving the bear and then the bear starts to get smaller. <laughs> so that's what happened on the salt side. So other ways you can see osmosis happening, if you've ever been in a pool for way too long, what happens to your fingers? You get kind of puffy and wrinkly, right? That's osmosis. The water is evening things out. You're actually absorbing that water. Crazy, right? Or if you have dried fruit, you then put it into a glass of water. What do you think is going to happen? That fruit is going to absorb and osmosis is going to happen. So it's going to get bigger. Water is going to enter into that uh, piece of fruit. You could also try this with dry vegetables if you have them. So that is how osmosis could work with bears. <laughs> so again, hope you enjoyed this. We'll go ahead and put a hashtag down below if you want to show us your bears. Um, if you use other gummy animals or if you use different liquids, you could try that as well and see which way things travel. It's always interesting to see. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, we very much appreciate our time and hopefully you did as well. And we will see you next time as Science is Everywhere. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our summer broadcasts are every Wednesday and Friday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org and sign up today.